Oh my God. Oh my God, guys. Guys, oh my God. Guys, it's huge. Hey guys, Thomas Aarons here. Welcome back to Aarons Bassin. Today, we are fishing the Conica Jig. We are floating down towards Williamsport, Maryland, where it feeds into the Potomac River. I've never been here before. Let's see what happens today. Let's go. All right, to the drop shot. Drop shot and a baby tube. If this doesn't work, then they are just not hungry. I'm gonna catch the biggest one, but at least I'll hook something. Welp, guys, the drop shot is not working. Let's switch things up. I'm gonna try a soft plastic jerk bait. I'm gonna tie on a green pumpkin super fluke junior. And I'm gonna pair that with a two watt wide gap EWG style hook. This is the KVD Mustad. Let's see if this works. Got him. Finally got one guys, jerk bait. Oh, we got a nice one too. It's actually not that bad. Oh, he's got a bunch more with him. He's got a bunch more with him. Look at them all. A little pack right there. Oh! Look at him on a little baby fluke. This looks nice. When I fish a fluke, cast it and you jerk, 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 and then you kill it. When you kill it, because there's no treble hooks, pull semi-tight to feel if there's one on there. Because usually when you pick back up, they're there. And a lot of times I'll see this, you start jerking again and you pull it out of their mouth. Because with a soft jerk bait and you're using just a regular EWG hook, you have to actually set the hook pretty, pretty hard to get it in their mouth. So don't be afraid to just pull tight when, you set, when, when you're about to jerk again. Pull semi-tight, check to see if somebody's there. And then you go after it again. Got him. It's a nice thing about fishing. Oh God, they pull so hard in this current. Number two. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Again, it's just on this little, little fluke style bait. I'm gonna try something out. I'm gonna try to go with a super vibrant color. I wanna see the difference. This right here is white ice. So yeah, a key again, guys, when you're throwing these things, you got it when you when you come back to jerk, if you're not being able to see the bait to start the, the retrieve again, pull semi-tight to feel if there's something there, and then you can set it. What gets me into trouble a lot is when you just you pretend like it's a hard jerk bait with treble hooks and you just keep on, you know, you pause and then you jerk, jerk, jerk. Well, when you pause and they eat it and you try to jerk, jerk, jerk again, a lot of times when they have it like that, because you don't have a treble hook on there, they're not just going to hook themselves. You're actually going to, sadly, you're just going to rip it right out of their mouth. I'm calling audible. Got him. Number three. Mm. Oh. That was three. Oh, I hope we make it. Oh, we made it. Got one. Trying to get up too. Oh, it's a nice one. You got anything with him? No, he's got no friends. Oh, oh, baby, get in the boat. Guys, color change. That's what I went to. I went with a little color change and then Bubba bing, bubba boo. That just happened. Absolutely love it. Look at him. Beautiful. I got here's I got 10 pound 10 pound fluorocarbon to my mainline braid. Got him. Guys, all we did was a color change. That was it. And we're actually smoking them. All we did was a color change. Again, a lot of times when you're when you're fishing. It sometimes is like, okay, the bait works. And this is why I see a lot, uh, you can see a lot of times, sometimes people just, you just change the bait when that wasn't the problem. 
Bay's probably what they wanted, but the color was off. There was one right there. Got him. Oh, this is a bigger one. This is a bigger one. Guys, this is, oh boy. Yeah, this is a nicer one. Guys, this is a nice one. He's taking drag. Look at you. Look at you. Look at you. Look at this. A little, this is a little creek. Conica Jig in Maryland. Look at this. Conica Creek in Maryland. Look at these beautiful things. These things are little brown footballs. And this is late September out here, just before a major front comes in. Just throwing a baby fluke right now. It's kind of the bait. Well, it looks like we've made a... looks like... Oh, shoot. Okay, this is the river. So, guys, this is the main part of the river right here. So, the Potomac River is actually right up here. So, let's fish around the opening here before we call it a day. Got one. Oh, my God. Oh, my God, guys. Guys. Oh, my God. Guys, it's huge. Guys. Guys, this is a monster. This is an absolute giant. Oh my God. Guys, this is a freaking monster. Holy crap. <sighs> Guys, this is a freaking monster. Get in the boat. Oh my God. Oh my God. Guys, holy, <laughs> oh my gosh. The opening of the Conica Jig Creek into the Potomac River right there. I set the hook on him and this is why you use uh, a power Ned head. Go power, 16 pound fluorocarbon with this heavy jig. Once I stuck him, he was not coming off. Potomac River. Conica Jig Creek, right at the opening. Guys, get the right tackle. Get out here. They're in here. Look at this absolute monster smallmouth. Power Ned Rig Fishing. You can upsize your tackle, and when you hook the monster of a lifetime, you will be able to control it without a problem. My name is Thomas Ahrens from Ahrens Bassin. Like and subscribe. We're going to see you next time. Jeez. <laughs>